it depends on where the expatriation is. So if you It depends on where the expatriation is. So if you were expatriating to OECD countries, 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 you know, you move somebody from the UK to America, the expatriation process is the countries, you know, you move somebody from, it depends on where the expatriation is. So if you were expatriating to OEC, it depends on where the expatriation is. So if you were expatriating, you move somebody from the UK to OECD countries, you know, you move somebody from the UK to America. America. To OECD countries, you know, you move somebody from the UK to America. 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 The expatriation processes should be relatively simple. A to America. The expatriation processes should be relatively simple. You move somebody from the UK to America. The expatriation processes should be relatively simple. Mm -hmm. Simple, mm -hmm. okay? Because the language is the same the basic principles of health, mm -hmm. okay, because the language is the same. It's the same. As the expatriation processes should be relatively simple, mm -hmm. okay, because the language is the same. The basic principles of how, you know, how people operate in terms of in terms of, of right, which is the same, the basic principles of how, principles of how, you know, how people operate in terms of, how, mm -hmm. okay, because the language is the same, the basic principles of how, you know, how people operate in terms of travel education, the basic principles of how, how, you know, how people operate in in terms of how the basic principles of how, you know, how people operate in terms of, in terms of travel education. 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 <laughs> if you take somebody One country to a different language speaking, to mm -hmm. a different culture. Different culture. To a totally different system, then it's very high. But in all spoken language speaking, mm -hmm. to a different culture, to a totally different source, from a, if you take somebody from one country to a different language speaking, mm -hmm. to a different culture, to a totally different system, then it's very high. Mm -hmm. But in order to expatriate, you have to have a very good HR system. 
to a totally different system, a totally different system, then it's very high. Mm -hmm. But in order to expatriate, you have to have a very good hate. HR support system. You have to have a very good understanding of, 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 of both ends. The, cul the culture and the culture and the background of where the, and the, where the people are coming to HR support system. You have to create you have to have a very good HR support system. You have to have this good one country to a different If you take somebody from one country to a different language speaking, to a different culture, to a totally different system, then it's very high. Mm -hmm. But in order to expatriate, you have to have a very good a very good HR support system. You have to have a very good understanding of, 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 of both ends. The culture and the background of where the people are coming from, and the culture and the culture could understand you. So it's very high. Different language speaking mm -hmm. to a different culture, to a totally different system, then it's very high. Mm -hmm. But in order to expatriate, you have to to have a very good HR support system. You have to have a very good. to have a very good understanding of, 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 of both ends. The culture and the background of where the people are coming from, and the culture and, the culture and background of where you're going to, and, and, and how the systems work, and what it is that people will need. that people will need to to support their the, the where you're going back and from and the culture and background and where you're going to and and, and how the system they're from and the culture and background and where you're going to and and, and how the systems work and support system you have to have a very good understanding of, 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 of both ends the culture and the background of where the people are coming from and the culture and background Culture and background of where you're going to. Into and, and, and how the systems work. And what it is that people will need to to support their, their everyday working life. 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 Um, it's very high in the beginning when you go to a new country. When I first traveled to China, it was it's very hard that every day to support them is that people will need to to support their their everyday working life. Um, it's very high in the beginning when you go to a new country. When I say country, when I first traveled to China, it was quite new for And 
And in fact, and in fact, I went to a really went to a region we'd never been before. And our HR people had to do a lot to do a lot of research in the beginning. To find out they had to make a lot of trips a lot of trips to find out what was it like. What was it like? Is it like? You know, firstly to consider could we expatriate people there? What is the health? What is the health system like? What is the security and safety? It's safety. Safety. What's the education? And after extensive research and visits, they came back and said, okay, we can expatriate. 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 But there's some things we need to do. We can't send families. And families. We can only send single people. It's not it's not suitable for families in our families in our opinion. This location. location. This location. Secondly, when you go there, you secondly, when you go there, you can only send single people. It's not suitable for families, in our opinion. This location. Secondly, when you go there, you know, there actually isn't any suitable accommodation. We will have accommodation. We will actually actually have to build our own accommodation. There's mm -hmm. nothing that accommodation. There's mm -hmm. nothing that Thing that we would comfortably put people in. Exactly. You know, and, and that can happen often in it 
building in in, in, in accommodation. We will actually actually have to build our own accommodation. There's mm-hmm. nothing that we would comfortably put people in. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and that can happen often in, in, in projects with camp. Deciding do you put people in camp in that people in with our own accommodation. There's mm-hmm. nothing that we would comfortably put people in. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and that can happen often in to we put people in. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and that can happen often happen often in, in, in projects with camp. Deciding do you put people in camps or do you put them in existing camps in the There's mm-hmm. no accommodation. There actually isn't any suitable accommodation. We will actually actually there, you know, there actually isn't any suitable accommodation. We will actually actually have to build our own accommodation in our own location. Secondly, when you go there, you know, there actually isn't any suitable accommodation. We will actually actually have to build our own accommodation. There's mm-hmm. nothing that we would comfortably put people in. You know, and, and that can happen often. Happen often in, in, in projects with camp. Deciding. Deciding do you put, do you put people in camps or do you put them in existing accommodation? Accommodation. Accommodation, and then for health, they determine they, de- they determined that the health system wasn't up to standards. Up to standard health patient, and then for health, they determined that the health system wasn't up to standards. So. Standard, so we have to put in place some emergency health provisions. Emergency health, emergency health, emergency health provisions, mm-hmm. emergency, emergency health coverage. Determined that the health system wasn't up to standard, so we had to put in place some emergency health provisions. Mm-hmm. Emergency health. Emergency health coverage, how we would evacuate people. People. So all of that kind of burden. Emergency health coverage, how we would evacuate people. So all of that kind of burden falls down. And that's kind of thinking when you get a new country. A new country. Would you expatriate people to a country? You get experience in that country. HR gets familiar with deal with the process how it works. It works. The things, the challenges they face. Mm-hmm. Then Then it gets easier. Yeah, and so the HR supporting system is a little easier, I all right? But I, I agree. The very I, the things, the challenges they face, mm-hmm. 
as much as they work. How it works. The works the things that. the challenges they face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then it, and it gets easier. And so the and so the HR supporting system is a little easier. Easier. All right. But I, I agree, you need a very sophisticated system. You need a good. You need a good. You need a good level of. level of resource to support it. Okay. You need to have deep knowledge and you, you do need to have people in country. Country. There's no doubt. Mm -hmm. You know, eventually It depends on where the expatriation is. So if you're expatriating to OECD countries, you know, you move somebody from the UK to America, the expatriation processes should be relatively simple, mm -hmm. okay? Because the language is the same, the basic principles of how, you know, how people operate in terms of travel education. <laughs> if you take somebody from one country to a different language speaking, to mm -hmm. a different culture, to a totally different system, then it's very high. Mm -hmm. But in order to expatriate, you have to have a very good HR support system. You have to have a very good understanding of, 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 of both ends, the culture and the background of where the people are coming from, and the culture and background of where you're going to, and, and, and how the systems work, and what it is that people will need to to support their, their everyday working life. Um, it's very high in the beginning when you go to a new country. When I first traveled to China, it was quite new for me. And in fact, I went to a region we'd never been before. Mm -hmm. And our HR people had to do a lot of research in the beginning to find out. They had to make a lot of trips to find out what was it like. You know, firstly, firstly first need to consider, could we expatriate people there? What is the health system like? What is the security and safety? What's the education? And after extensive research and visits, they came back and said, okay, we can expand. 